Everything's alive. Shame I'm all friggin' leather fingers. Jebediah Chokes is a right prick. What? The leader of the eel biters? Yeah, him. Little Lou don't want to pay his protection racket, so he grabs her hand quick as you please, and snips off her finger to get her to ring. I bet she weren't happy with that. Course not. She decked him one. But... <laughs> the ring's by now. You want to cross him to search a squat? Be my guest. Me, I'm staying out of his way. <sighs> <sighs> Then, the way money changes hands in this city, I've probably stolen these coins ten times before. I'm done here, and so is Eddie's business. He'll be leaving town on the river soon enough, in a boat or under one.
easier to die in this town than make a living here. I'll be a penniless joke. The worst kind. I have something for all your nefarious needs. Come back soon. Uh, oh, good sir. <clears throat> I, uh, uh, perhaps uh, you can help me, yes. I am the great Vittori, conductor of curiosities, the wrangler of wonder. Everybody has heard of the Vittoris from far flung Illyria. I knew a man from Illyria. Sounded nothing like you. What? Your, um, accent slipping. It's Illyrian horse hair, at least. Huh? It's for show. Please performance, Sirrah. The performance is everything you should know. Look at you. Hey? Hey? No? I heard you were looking for help. Terrible times. First the watch impounded my ship. And then some ruffians snuck onto my boat and made off with my finest attractions. Priceless, Sirrah. So you need a new act? No, I... Actually, wait. Now you mention it, you'd be quite the draw. The ladies love a bit of leather. I wasn't volunteering. Ah, quite. Well, I need you to help restore my livelihood if you would. What do you say? Be a pip. Now. The first item I'm missing, I have a talking skull with the power of prophecy, a remarkable curiosity. Tell me, friend, do you wish to know the future? I find this skull and you pay me lots of coin. Ha! Excellent, Sirrah. The skull itself would be impressed. Lots is such a strong word, but a reasonable amount, to be sure. Interest, yeah. Steal it back from the scoundrels who stole it in the first place, and, well, it's poetic justice. No idea how happy that makes me, Mr. Thief. Thank you many more times than I can say. Wherever would a man of low morals auction an ill-gotten prophetic skull? I know just the place. The black market.
bits Will Marlow got himself a pretty new shiny, fresh from the boats. Oh? What is it? Some kind of insect, all made out of gems. Did you nab it? Let's see. <laughs> Not on your life. He's crazy, Will Marlow is. I ain't gonna be the one who gets between him and his treasure. Look, but don't touch. That's what he's about. Even the blossoms say so. <laughs> The show's gone out of hangings. Hoping to take the white to. my way or the Baron's way. Hungry as a...
city is as rare as the fur its balls. Quit. Please. Got one of those indoor jobs. Good money for the renovation, I reckon. On, then let's see it. See what now? The Oracle, you drunk bastard. Oh. Well, I didn't bring it with me, did I? Man should never do his business in, in uh, the hands he eats with. It's stashed away, nice and safe. What? what was that? A trespasser! I saw him! Come on, then, let's see it. See what now? The Oracle, you drunk bastard. Oh. Well, I didn't bring it with me, did I? Man should never do his business in, you know, uh, the hands he eats with. It's stashed away, nice and safe. Oh, it's too grave holes. I'll give you till the clock tower strikes to bring it here. Otherwise, find another mug to pawn your hey, stuff onto. No need to kick up a fog about it. I'll be on my way. Lenny. What? Not the first time Help! I've stolen a nasty drunk. I'll make it another for the road. Come on, then. Let's see it. Say what now? The Oracle, you drunk bastard. <laughs> oh. Well, I didn't bring it with me, did I? Man should never do his business in, you know, uh, the hands he eats with. It's stashed away, nice and safe. Oh, it's too grave holes. I'll give you till the clock tower strikes to bring it here. Otherwise, find another mug to pawn your hey, stuff onto. No need to kick up a fog about it. I'll be on my way. Lenny. Not the first time I've stolen from the master drunk. I'll make it another for the road. How's a man to open a door when the handle keeps moving round? <laughs> it must be one of these new finagled machines. A moving door handle, huh? Come on, then, let's see it. Say what now? The Oracle, you drunk bastard. <laughs> oh. Well, I didn't bring it with me, did I? Man should never do his business in, you know, the hands he eats with. It's stashed away, nice and safe. Oh, it's too grave holes. I'll give you till the clock tower strikes to bring it here. Otherwise, find another mug to pawn your hey, stuff onto. No need to kick up a fog about it. I'll be on my way. Lenny. Not the first time I've stolen from the master drunk. I'll make it another for the road. How's a man to open a door when the handle keeps moving round? Same nightmares every night.
must be one of these new finagled machines. A moving door handle, huh? Make a barracks head a tail of it. Is anyone listening? I need a flame. Uh, what's that? I can hardly see straight. I must need glasses. It's me! Oh, Joy. Old Lenny's come for me. <laughs> the old crew back together again. Rocks, Teats, how long's it been? About three hours, by my reckoning, Lenny. What? Huh. Time just slips through your fingers, don't it? Let's drink. The world acquaintances. Oh, I tell the bottles run dry. Frickin' pipes out. Anyone got a match? This tastes quite peculiar. Is it vintage? Nope. It's the one you pissed in last time you were here. <laughs> <laughs> I need a light, boys. Yeah. Give me another swig to wash down the last one. Aye. Bottle for your troubles. <laughs> Is anyone listening? I need a flame. Robbery. Price of opium today. Yeah. Robbery. I need a light, boys. Come on, then, let's see it. See what now? The Oracle, you drunk bastard. Oh. Well, I didn't bring it with me, did I? Man should never do his business in, you know, the hands he eats with. It's stashed away, nice and safe. Oh, to anyone listen? Brave holes. I need a flame. I'll give you till the clock tower strikes to bring it here. Otherwise, find another mug to pawn your hey, stuff onto. No need to kick up a fog about it. I'll be on my way. Lenny, not the first time I've stolen from the master drunk. I'll make it another for the road. Uh, who's that? I can hardly see straight. I uh, must need glasses. It's me! Oh, Joy. 
Old Lenny's come for me. <laughs> the old crew back together again. Rooks, cheats, how long's it been? About three hours, by my reckoning, Lenny. What? Huh. Time just slips through your fingers, don't it? Let's drink. To old acquaintances, or right, till the bottles run dry. Friggin' pipes out. Anyone got a match? Uh, this tastes quite peculiar. <laughs> Is it vintage? <laughs> What's going on? My friggin' pipes on fire. I wanted a flame, not the apocalypse. It must have been that pickled idiot. Red Tilly herself would buy the other frig away if she saw him coming. Well, you boys seem kind of busy. Got no time for poor old Lenny. Warren, just be on my way. Stick any worse than normal. <laughs> sure enough, they came off by themselves. Didn't cost a penny. <coughs> oh, sir, I'm all cold and lonely with this lockdown. And oh, it's you, Rosie. Rosie, won't you let down your housing? Bree, piss off, Lenny. What do you say, Rosie? Wanna go around? Not even if his royal top list himself made it law. I can't pay right now, but put it on the tap. <clears throat> you know I'm good for it. Stick an eel down your pants, they're not choosy. Ah, who's that next to you, your sister? We could all get introduced. Get off, will you, Lenny? You're scaring away <laughs> my real customers. Come on. How's about it? <clears throat> what about now? Now? Rosie? <coughs> Where, where'd she go? Rosie! If you wanted me to go, you could have just kicked me in the hammers like you usually do. My silks are covered in shit! Lenny! Lenny! Some girls would charge extra for what I'm going to do to you when I get out of this mess! Someone's licked the frogging gate. <laughs> locked the frigging gate. Right. Maybe I locked the frigging gate. Well, I can't climb it. Not in these shoes. Might tear my hammer pouch. It's already itching the worst in this late rash. I think I'll sit out here for the smell. <coughs> Clear bells and all's well. Uh, well, the captain, sir. Uh. It's me, Lenny! Open up, will you? Keep your friggin' voice down! You want every snitch and lifter to know we're here? Let them try to get past old Lenny! If they can step over your drunk bag of bones, I think they'll manage! Stopping arrows is all you're good for! That's not very supportive, is it? Out of my way. I'm on busyness. Most important. Uh-huh. Oh, the night I've had, I need a drink. Shadowing Lenny is a job in itself, but he finally led me back to his gang. Swim. That's the whole point, you idiot. 
All those boats caught up in the lockdown, and you live from the circus wreck. Who's gonna buy that shit? Reminds me of your grand idea when you broke into the taxidermist place. Did I ever tell you, when I was a god at Duke Thornburns, that old bastard collected stuffed bears. Got surprised by one once. Took a stab at it. Then he... the merchandise. What's your plan? Ah, uh, yeah. Made a deal for the skull with Robbie Fox down at Stripler's. I'd be glad to see it gone. Creepy thing, skulls. You ever think about how we all got one under our faces? Wow. Trickster, help me Lenny your one dumb shovel. How much? How much what? Coin, Lenny. Coin. Oh, you need to borrow some change. Thing is, Bernie, I'm kind of short right now, you see, and... I'm not worry on a mill wheel. How much coin did Robbie Pox offer you for the frigging skull? Ah, oh, good coin, good coin. Tested it with my own teeth. Bit down on a gold piece once, but right through. Thing was made. So help me, Lenny. I swear, I'm going to bury you in a ditch and dance on it with your mother, if you don't pay attention. Hey, don't talk about my mother that way. I was a favorite. Kill me now if there's more of you. Good old mum. She could drink all the men in the village under the table. Explains a lot. Yeah. I come from a big family. Lots of us. Six boys. Mum was a tower of strength back then. Breastfed every one of us. Said it made us what we are today. Explains a lot more. Likes her liquor, does she? Ah, we all do. Runs in the family. I've had enough of this! Finish your drink, and then go spit and shake on this deal! I feel ready to go soon enough. It was a walk and a half to get here, I can tell you. So tired these days. This does look like it belongs in Vittori's act. Except the skull's genuine. The stranger you will meet and see will tall and dark and handsome be. <laughs>
you'll steal the heart of someone higher and have the riches you desire. <laughs> is somebody up there? What riches? Lenny, is that you? I'm glad you think this is amusing, war. To better understand yourself, the first to do is that. Now, then, be careful of a leaping soul with blackened purse. What do we have here? You have returned, Mr. Thief. Top job returning my skull, Sirrah. The stranger you will meet and see will tall and dark and handsome be. <laughs> Uncanny. It already said that one. Then it's Maybe twice the truth. Up? You really should join the show, sir. I can imagine it now. The Dark Archer. I'm thinking... Carnival owner disappears. Ah, Mr. Thief, you return victorious. Excellent. You are good. If you are, are you I sure I can't selling. tempt you into the carnival? The legend in leather? Mm hmm. Good news, Mr. Thief. I know the whereabouts of another of my missing exhibits. That is good news. You don't need me then. No, 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 Sirrah. Do I look like the kind of man who slips into foreign parts in the dead of night? No, I do need you. It's the fabled Octopus. Octopus? Yes, an astonishing act of nature at her most perverse. A normal cat, you may think at first glance, but no. Eight legs, Sirrah. Eight! Can you believe it? No. No, sir. Bring my freak of nature back to me, Mr. Thief. Your pockets await my coin. <sighs> yeah, sure. You've no idea how happy that makes me, Mr. Thief. Thank you many more times than I can say. Need to the octopus up? is apparently in some dreary private collection near the gatehouse between Stone Market and Riverside.
I have something for all your nefarious needs. Come back soon. Would you help an entertainer in need? Lift things to life. Shame I'm all friggin' leather fingers. It's cold out tonight. Oh! Keep friggin' fake gold teeth in the jar. It's the jump on me. <laughs> Streets will be safer now.
through. You there? Anybody? A draft likely pulled it. What's going on at the door here? Hello? Hello? What? I know you're here! Saw you! Sir? Must we go through this interrogation rigmarole every time, Aubrey? Just bring me a candle. As you wish, sir. To think I could have been in service to a noble house instead of entertaining his demons. This seems like Take a good the out of Aldale, but the Aldale out of the, Aldale, out of the to stay anyone? Don't ask questions, you'll do fine. About the master of the house? What did I just tell you, tallow ears? Candles are all serving their intended purpose. Uh, really? What? What's that supposed to mean? I'm disappointed in you, Aubrey. As am I, sir.
could find. hurting bad. This rain or die of the cold. 